Out of all the animals in the world, you picked the dog. I didn't pick it. I picked the big dog. <laughs> what I say, bro? Not even the what biggest. I say, bro, bro, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. <laughs> it's about the size of the fight in the dog. Oh, my. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Oh, bears are all big and shit, but they're not dogs. <laughs> you don't got that dog in them. I literally have the dog, bro. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 78. I'm your host, DWAK Darius. I'm here with my, with my co-host, Ty. Say what's good to the fellas. It's good. Top up. Back once again. Yeah, once yes. again, brother. So, we got a good episode for y'all today, bro. But, you know why I wanted you back here so early, bro? Because I think you did a pod like a couple, what was it, like what, a month ago? I want to say like three weeks ago, low key. Maybe, maybe a month, yeah. Because I want to do a pod after your season so we can see how it goes. Oh, right. But then I did it too early. Yeah. So now it's after your season. Tyrone finally graduated. This nigga is now old head. How's it feel, brother? Yo, literally just walked into gym today. And they were using a gun. And they were like, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's like, we, alumni? Like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even I see them texting the chat. I'm getting ready to like the message. I'm like, oh, wait. I don't have to go to that. I'm still you in know, the chat. Like, I got to leave. Yeah, you should be out of there. That's what that's weird. Like if I'm I leave, they're gonna be like, "Who's this?" Thing? Like, who was? Like, why? Why has he been here? Like the freshman, they're gonna be like, "Who?" I've never seen this man a day in my life. Loki, I want to. Yeah. I want to go until like like the niggas that came in, like Martini, like Levi and them, like leave, and then that's when I leave. I'm not gonna lie, there's mad niggas in chat that should be. Oh, I know. Man. Isn't Mike Vick in that shit still? Uh, or I, he left. I know guys who got cut from the team. <laughs> like, like last year, like ever, like, like, oh, ever still in there. He's still in there. Bro. I be seeing him once. There's in a while. mad people like Sahan skirt. Like mad people are still in that. Dang, in that I think Mike. I think Mike is no Mike left. Mike left? somebody said something real mookie, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm done here." <laughs> well, and you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when Mike left. Dang. That's when Mike left the chat, bro. But now you're you're oh, officially gosh. retired, my brother. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah, alumni now, but it kind of feels weird to even work out. I'm not gonna lie. Well, like, you work out like, by yourself. Yeah, I, I don't know if I told you. So it was like the week after senior yeah. night, I went to the gym and I'm like, I gotta stay in shape because I'm gonna get fat. Yeah, if I yeah, don't work yeah. Out. And I didn't know other what other way to work out than to run a 55. So I, no way, you ran a 55? <laughs> nah, I ran three, bro. Nah, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Yo, but then when I knew I had to stop, is because I saw Locke. He walked in. It was in the AM. <laughs> Locke was walking into his office and he looked at me like. <laughs> what are you grinding for? <laughs> You're not going to the league. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. Hop on the stepper, doing. bro. I might hop on the stepper. And then I was like, screw that. And then I started running like two miles and running on a treadmill and shit. Dang. But bro. yeah, nah. Men's leagues is like, you know, you know how we get in the men's league. So, so I got I know. Yeah. Don't y'all got, y'all got a game tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, me and J- five, Wait, yeah. so it's in the. It's at the usual place, right? Yeah, in Clifton. All right. Can me and Jay about to pull, you know pull up with co- y'all? Oh, for real? Yeah. You know the colors? We're pink this year. Y'all pink? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the team name? What's the team name? Um, who's next, bro? We ain't come up. It's some cool. Who's name. next? Who I'm created? Like, yo, if you seen this right now, Mac, bro, I, ain't gonna I knew it. I didn't want to say yeah. the name. I knew it. I yeah, knew Mac it. made it, bro. It's type corny, bro. Who's next? Wow, that's crazy. Could have came up with some different. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. We threw some some heat in the chat, and then he just wasn't getting back to it. So we went. Who's next? So who created this this team? Oh. The captain, top off, of course. Oh, Who is you? make the team, bro? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, just yeah, making sure. Because I wanted sure. to do one with um, the guys, again, we did it before. And then we're about to go to um, Seattle, and we have to make a payment on the Airbnb and our plane tickets. So we're like, ah, let's wait until the summer. Wait, when y'all going to Seattle? August 20th. 20th. Wait, that's the new biome y'all going to? New biome. <laughs> yes, sir. New biome. Tundra. <laughs> tundra, the northern tundra. It's yes, not sir. even tundra. It's like, it's like rainy. But it's like, it's rainy, but it's like, Colder, yeah. Like we went to Vermont and it was cool, so we had to. We were able to wear hoodies and sweaters, whatever, in the middle yeah. of the summer. But like here is like the trees. There's like pine trees and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's it's, it's kind of cool over there. So because I know it's, Seattle is ra- is like really like rainy, bro. Like depressing. Yeah, the people over there. Like I, the, I don't know what the people over there are like, but I, I'm just anticipating like Alaskan vibed people. Like, no, nah, I don't think it's. I don't know if it's Alaskan. I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm into. Because who do who, like? I what? think it's more like Cali vibe, but like depressing. Nah, it's not that close. To, it's close to Cali, but it's like Oregon is in between. Because like I know my family lives in Oregon, so I've been out there a couple of times. Okay. It's very like, like okay. mellow. Like, <laughs> but they they like they love alcohol over there. How the hell they end up in Oregon? <laughs> Yo, it's <laughs> wait. Family from which side? My mom's side. Your mom's side? Yeah. So like, are they like native? Filipinos so like, this as one, well? so so they came. So he went from the Philippines to here. 
Okay. But like some of my some of her cousins went to Oregon first. But why they cho- do you know why they chose? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> so they cho- so one chose uh, West Coast, one chose East Coast. Okay. Then my mom went from she w- she came to Jersey first, and then she went to Oregon or Washington. Okay. She went to Washington, and then she came back to Jersey. Okay. Went back to Washington, and then she came back. Okay. So she moved. Well, back. Your mom was in Washington. Yeah. I gotta ask your mom some questions about what to do in Seattle, bro. Oh, uh, I don't know if she knows Seattle. She knows more of uh, Vancouver. If she was in there. She might know. Yo, does Brandon go to Rutgers Newark? Nah, he goes to um, Keene. Okay, so I was just being racist. Got it. <laughs> I saw some dude that looked like Brandon in uh, in the dome like three times. Nah, I, if you would have said like Library or Roberson, it might be. He might be. Because I know, oh, I remember yeah. I seen his cousin at. Uh, what, he be coming? His, his cousin goes to Keene, but I seen him at Rutgers one time. I'm like, what the fuck? But like, he looked at me like he never seen me before. Okay. So I'm like, fuck. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. it's, one of, it's one of those things. Guess we don't bangs with each other. I'm like, damn. I haven't seen that nigga in years, though. Yeah, bro. But yeah, I got to tell you the story, bro. You ready to hear the story? Yeah, bro? I'm ready. I wanna, I've been waiting <laughs> ever since you walked in, bro. So the people who don't know, Union High School, um, it's been on the edge. You know, you, you remember, I think we talked about when they brought machetes after we left. Yeah, because of Jordan's little brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause it's they upped it. What It happened? got worse. So <laughs> mind you, I got the game today. Had a busy ass day, so I was having a bad day. My tire got flat last night. Put the spare on. The spare got flat. <laughs> then I wanted to shoot around. I had to pick up Corey, and then we were about to go to the game. Yeah. So I'm like, I right, I fixed my tire. I had to go to the shop, get it fixed, come back, whatever, yada yada yada. I'm fixing the tire. I'm now finishing. So I'm picking up the tools and stuff, putting it back in my trunk. As I'm putting them in my trunk, like I'm on face on Corey, like yo Corey, I just finished. I'm about to pick you up, and then we'll go to Darren's podcast, and then we'll come or whatever. So I'm on the phone. And I hear. Hey man, um, and I'm like, what? like I turn around, <laughs> it's some dude from Hond- Honduras. Wait, right? how you know he's from Honduras? I asked him, bro. I started, I started pressing him. <laughs> I, started, I started pressing him, bro. So he was wearing all black. He was wearing the same exact. Ch- I'm telling you, I noticed it because it's my favorite like fictional character of Denzel Washington, bro. What? He was wearing the two chains that Denzel Washington was wearing in Training Day. So uh, look, <laughs> like these exact ones, bro. You got the picture? There, I got shit? the picture. Load cued. Those chains, bro. Okay, so yeah, those ex- the, like those exact chains. I, I'm telling you, bro, to the T, the cross with the thing, right? Exactly, bro, to the T. Okay, but he's like, sure, whatever. He's he's a, he looks like a young kid. So first, and I'm like looking, he's talking to me. He's like, um, yeah, man. Uh, he's like, hey, where's Burnett Barbecue? And I'm like, if you one, you look like a kid at Union High School. If you go to Union High School, you know where Burnett Barbecue is at. Yeah, yeah. If you're in front of my house right now, you know where my mom lives and how close yeah. it is to Burnett Barbecue. You know where you it's would at. know. Yeah. So I'm like, I then I'm like, I'm on the phone with Cora. I'm like, I put the phone down because I'm like, I start looking around like, is somebody about to rob me? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a setup. So I'm like, Burnett Barbecue's around there. He's like, oh, where's the Jefferson School? And I'm like, it's over there. I thought I said Hamilton. I thought. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know. They used Man to be C5. Ham- yeah. They used to be Hamilton. So then I'm like looking around. I'm like, what? So then he's like, um, he's like yeah, um, okay, well, I can't go by uh, go there. How can I get to Jefferson School without going to Burnett Barbecue? I'm like. What? I'm like, I'm like confused. And I'm looking at him and he has like a gash right on his, like up here, like right on like, his, like above fresh, his, fresh. <laughs> it's, it's wet blood, not dry blood. It's wet blood like <laughs> here, like dripping down. And, I, and he has a hood on, he has it tight and he has like a little bonclavish thing. Like, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. But it's not all the way up and he's wearing all black. So I'm uh-huh. like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, I was going on. He said, oh, uh, is there any way we could use your car? I'm like, nah. I'm like, it's getting crazy. I'm like, oh, I'm fixing my tire right now. I pick up the, the phone and I grab the tire and I'm like talking to Corey and I'm like walking to the back and I'm like, yeah, Corey. I'm like, I don't know. This kid looked like he just got fired. He's like, you about to get robbed, nigga. <laughs> he said that? No, no, no. Corey oh, said I'm that. like, what Corey the said fuck? That. Corey said that like right. Like he was like, yo, bro, you about to get robbed. I'm like, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. <laughs> so then like, I put my spare tire in the back and I come back and I'm like, I'm like, now I'm like, let me do a good deed or whatever. So I'm like, all right. And then he's talking to me. He's like, yeah, I just got into a fight. Yo. <laughs> he pulls his wrist back Blood Like he definitely got a, a mean cut And I noticed his Like the black hoodie was wet And it doesn't change color But it was wet as hell Yeah yeah And he definitely either Broke his wrist Or got a huge gash It was like mad blood On his thing It was like messed up And he, he just kept his hand Closed though yeah. So I'm like he's hurt And he was like Yeah I got into a fight And I'm like A fight? I'm like is that why? I'm like oh so he was running He said yeah It was like a big It was like oh like And he had an accident He was like It was like six of us Against like 17 of them What's going on? Fight? Y'all <laughs> got jumped. <laughs> he said it was by the soccer field, um, the parking lot past the soccer field, you know, by uh, the baseball in between the yeah, baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, all right. And I'm trying to, for now I'm trying to like 
this is when I realized, speaking of the old head shit, I'm like, I'm really an old head now. I'm like, hey, young boy. I'm like, you all right. So I'm putting a tool back in the back of my house. And I'm like, I ask him, I'm like, yo, what's your name? And then he's like, uh, he's like stuttering. I'm like, oh, hey, little man, what's your name, bro? Like, talk to me, what's your name? And he's like, Steven. I'm like, this nigga name, not Steve. He's like, <laughs> yo, he is fresh off of the boat. Like, he has an accent. And I'm like, talking to him. And I'm like, oh, so when did you come to America? Now he's thinking I'm pressing his citizenship and shit. So he's like, oh, I've been here for seven years. So like, and then, you know, I'm talking to him. I'm like, all right. I'm like, he's like, is there any way you could take? He's just loitering there now, waiting. I'm yeah. Like, so I'm like, all right, I'll take you. And then he's like, um, I'm like, you don't got, I'm like, your parents home and stuff? He's like, no, I'm good. I'm safe. I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, you sure you don't want to get some better? No, I'm good. I'm good. Just, I need to get home. So. <laughs> Now I get him in my, now I go get in my car. I'm like, yeah, oh, so him. you drive him? Yeah, he gets in. Yo. <laughs> I get him, right? So I'm driving. He's like, I'm like, yo, how'd you get so messed up? I'm like, I'm like, I'm thinking fists ain't do that to you, bro. Like, it's bloody, you feel me? And then yeah. his knee was oh yeah. So before we got in the car, he was like, I was like, yeah, I'm like, what type of fight you was in? And he was like, Yeah, he said they had uh bats and knives. I was like, wait, where does he he's this is Union High School. What bro. is this? The fucking the we, Sharks versus. We graduated the... from the. You were in the shirt. We graduated. From <laughs> <laughs> we graduated from the school. I don't this even. This is motherfucking like West Side Story. And shit? I don't. I don't understand. He said, "That's <laughs> not." I said, "What did you have? Just your fist?" He was like, "He said, ah, oh, my friend had a pole, but I just." He said, "I was just fist," and he tried to pull his fist up, and it hurt. So he like put it back down. And just, it was wild, bro. Yo, it was what? wild, bro. It was bro. wild, bro. <laughs> and then he was like, um, so then I'm like, all right, whatever. So we get in, we're in a car, and I'm talking to him like, yeah, bro, um. Oh, you go to your high school? I'm asking about Mr. Barrero. I'm asking about all my teachers. He, yeah. And I'm like, and like, mind you, Corey's on the phone the whole time. <laughs> like, we're on FaceTime the whole time. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro. Um, What's go? You know any teachers? Like, whatever. He's like, not answering, whatever. And Corey was like, yo, you going to stop pressing him, bro? He's about to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, he's going to kill you, bro. Stop pressing him. So then I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm trying to make sure you're all right, whatever. And then he was like. He said, uh, just two days ago, he said, I don't think I could go back. Just two days ago, they came with, um, one of the guys I was finding came with brass knuckles, and they had spikes on them. Like, who's you know the brass knuckles with the, the pointy tips? Yeah. I'm like, who's who's fighting in you? What? I don't even know where to buy that shit. <laughs> like, Bro. if I wanted to fight somebody and I wanted to do something, I don't know where to buy that. This nigga got upgraded brass knuckles? The knuckles wasn't nigga, enough? The nigga is playing GTA, San Andreas. <laughs> I've never seen it. What is going on? They had bats and eyes. I'm like, bro, when a nigga pulls out a knife, you go. You That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's it. You so, win. Yeah, yeah, you win. It's <laughs> over. You got it, bro. Not only that, I peeped. So when I was getting my tire done, my girl was bringing me over there. And there was like mad cops. You know, the yeah. police station right there. Going to high school. I'm like, I'm like, for what? I'm like, we have cops that work in the high school. What do they? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't it's seem not their jurisdiction. jurisdiction. <laughs> I'm like, it can't be that big. It's a union. I was wrong. So wow. then I pull up and I'm driving. He's like, oh, don't go that way. I'm like. This is the fastest way. I'm like, but shit, if somebody throws some shit at my whip, you're right. I ain't going out. <laughs> so I drive and out. You feel me? You know you get to Vauxhall. So I asked him, like, so you live in Vauxhall? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, you live in the hood. Oh, you one of them. Damn. But Vo it's not that bad. For a high school nigga, it is. Bro, what? For us, because we're grown men now, it's not that bad. So we pulled up, right? And I'm going down uh, by C5. And... I think he saw there was like a group of kids up there. He's like, oh, make, go left, make a left. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> what is it? make a left here. I, I pull, bust a left. And then what did I ask him? I was asking him mad questions. Corey was laughing the whole time. <laughs> and I'm asking him mad questions. And I'm like, feel me trying. I'm like, yo, listen, man, you don't get me fine. I'm like, yo, what is this over a girl, bro? Why are you fighting? So they started beef with us, man. He has an accent. He's like, he said, all of them were like, he said, uh, is it, is it, uh he couldn't get the thing out. He's like, like you. And I'm like, <laughs> like who? All right, which. Try to say they niggas. Like, I'm like, just say it. Say, say they was black, bro. Like, so he was like, <clears throat> he was like, you. And I'm like, oh, they were tall. He said, yeah, like uh, six five. And I'm like, oh, damn, you find some big niggas, yeah, some hoopers. <laughs> you find the basketball yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> niggas fought the basketball team. So then I was like, all right, whatever. Wow. So I busted left, and then I drop, and then he's like, oh, you can drop me off right here. I'm like, oh, you live over here. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, yo, stay safe, bro. I'm like, yo, just stay out of trouble, bro. You got a lot of life. He said. <laughs> He's like, you too. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> this is not, yo, we yeah. don't live the same. We don't live the same life. What's going on, bro? I give him his dap, give him the dap, and he he walks out. I'm going, and I see him not go to the crib. He's just walking down, you know, by Maplewood area. Yeah. He's walking down, and he talks to some random Spanish dude on a block. 
There's a random dude on the block with his sweatpants rolled all the way up and a backpack on. <laughs> and then he looks angry. I'm like, damn, you really in the hood now? Like, you really a gang? That... Free him. He and went I'm to like, the, the, the OGs, bro? To the dark side, bro. That's what? where he went. Yeah, bro. That was it, bro. He was done up. It's the West Side Story with the Jets versus the Sharks and shit, bro, with the knives and bats. Free him, bro. What's wrong with the union, bro? I don't know how, but I don't know how it even got to this, bro. Brass knuckles, bats. How you even get it? Was it the baseball team? Like, <laughs> I know, knives? right? Knives? Who's out here fighting like When we that? used to fight, my niggas used to fight after, yo, just meet me by the rock. They need to squabble. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Straight hands. You lose, you lose. Sometimes niggas fight on ice. It wasn't that smart. You remember that? Fucking, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bruno. <laughs> yeah. I remember Je- uh, Jeffrey Zemisky did that dumb shit. Bro, niggas was fighting on ice. And there was like slipping. Oh, and Big Bruno? Yeah. Uh, Dorian, brother. Yeah. yeah. Was fucking right. fighting that nigga on the ice. It was uh, him and some other big ass Haitian nigga. That shit yeah. was crazy, bro. I was like, little did he know. He ran into the biggest fed, bro. I could have, he lucky I didn't get my job yet. <laughs> he would have arrested him right now. You would have arrested him? <laughs> he would have been in jail, bro. Oh, my and God, help my boys bro. in blue out. What's <laughs> wrong with Union, bro? If, if you if you from Union High School watching this shit, bro, I'm glad Libby graduated from that shit, bro. She about yeah. to graduate. Oh, she's she, Yeah, she's about to be out of there, bro. Thank God. What? But speaking of shit, bad cities, bro, you you seen, I, I got the list of the dirtiest cities in America. And it's crazy. Because two of the cities from Jersey is in the top five, which I don't understand. Mm-hmm. I've been to dirty places. Philly is is disgusting. No, Philly is fucking horrible. Philly, though. but you know what? I, I understand. But uh, people, so basically the list: Jersey City's number five, Newark's number two, which is crazy. But Philly, okay, one part of Philly is really really bad, but then mm-hmm. there's parts of Philly that's kind of nice. Mm-hmm. So maybe I get it. Like you know, West Philadelphia is not too bad, but like. Mm-hmm. We look, we go we in Newark every day. There's nice. There's some really nice parts of Jersey City. Jersey City's number two or five? Five. Jersey City has some really nice areas. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, I've been in. I'm not gonna lie. I've been in a lot more nicer areas in Jersey City than dirtier. Probably because I ain't got no business in the dirty areas. Yeah, yeah. But like, I've been in a lot more nicer areas than that. But it's like, it's like, bro, Newark. Newark is has been worse. Newark has been worse. Has been, this is recent. This is a recent. List. Yeah, this is just recent. Like this shit just came out, bro. Mm. But Jersey City, I'm like, all right, Jersey City's not right, that bad. some heat in Newark, though. <laughs> we might deserve to be up there. <laughs> might be, might deserve. But, like, I think it's based on, like, pop, uh, pollution and, like, uh, like okay. how much living space there is, like, per, like, capita or some shit like that. So, I mean, I guess. They better hit Bayonne. I know. Isn't Bayonne, like, like dirty? what? I feel like. like Bro, Bayonne's tight. Like, it's, like, like 30 <laughs> Like, Baltimore's not even on here. It's, like, Houston's number one. Newark's two. Look at this list. San Ber- Bernardino. That's in California. That's number three. Detroit's four. Okay, no. Detroit. Jersey City's five. Bakersfield is six. Bakersfield, do you know what state? California. Okay. I didn't even think that was a... San Antonio? San Antonio's seven. <clears throat> I didn't even think San Antonio's dirty, bro. Oklahoma City? That's what I said. Yonker, Yonkers. New, New York? Yeah, Yonkers, New York is wow. number 10. And New York City is like 12. But I'm like, damn, so we're dirtier than New York City is what you're telling me. With all them big ass rats... But I mean, I guess I'm not gonna lie to you. We have some big ass rats in Newark. <laughs> do you? Do we really? I see them all the time. <laughs> like how big? Like if you could guess, you be in there more than I do. Like, like this. That's how thick. Like, boy, them boys is miniature dogs. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, I was working out back when I had to grind, and I'm running that through Newark. I'm running my miles, <laughs> and a rat shoots out of a like out of a brick wall. I don't. It just shoots out the brick wall. I don't know. I ain't seen no crack nothing. Shoots out the brick wall. And I'm like, whoa. And he starts walking down the street. Like normally, like this is shit. Like he like he's me. Like he's a normal nigga. Wow. And I'm running, so I think he's gonna see me and like run away because animals run away. Yeah, yeah. He keeps running. I had to jump over, homie. <laughs> crazy. Nah, that's crazy. I see him all the time, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. All the time. That's the normal, that's the hood rat. Yeah. The, yeah, hood rats. The hood rats. <laughs> all of them. Wow. All the time. Bro. All the time. Like even like Jersey City, I don't know. Maybe see some of these cities like I was like Fresno, Detroit. like Detroit. Because think about it, we're, know we're a really Detroit. small ass state. Like the, a lot of these states is like freaking. We got Texas and California and shit. We got two in the top five. We're Brooklyn, little as hell. Brooklyn not up here. Yeah. I think that counts as like New York. So, it be Yonkers. All right. Does that count? Is that is Yonkers? I, part? I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know. Is but, that Yonkers more up? Yonkers like like by Jersey. All right. Damn. But I don't know, bro. That's crazy. No. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, Jersey City shouldn't be up here. I'm an advocate. Take Jersey City off that list. <laughs> I don't think Jersey's that dirty. 
I don't think Jersey City's that that dirty, bro. They just here off the list, bro. I don't know, bro. Hopefully next year they make a better list. Irvington, bro. Irvington's not. Oh there? yeah, Irvington's disgusting. But maybe because Irvington's not that big, bro, bro. <laughs> if you gotta be, Irvington is bro. Real. Irvington, Ir- don't shoot me. I'm the, Afghanistan. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's the that's the most that's the niggas best. They just say Irvington. <laughs> that's what niggas call that shit. <laughs> if niggas, yo, Irvington is so bad. <laughs> Every time I've had to go through there, it's not. Cool. It's there's not no. Fun. Good, I don't think there's a good part of Irvington. No, it's not. All right. It, Literally, when I drive down Springfield Ave, I gotta watch out because niggas just be walking across the street. I don't go there at night, gang. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm I'm surprised nobody stole my car in Irvington. I remember one time I dropped my keys outside. Well, no, no, I left my car running, and I'm like. I'm like, it was it was me and Chris, and we went to the one of the dollar stores because we were picking up something because mm-hmm. we were going to Philly. So we was picking up like bins and shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, where my keys at? And I could I didn't know where my keys were. I thought I dropped it in the store. They were I'm like, in the whip. There was the car was running still. I'm like, yo, this is a sign from God. I'm surprised God nobody fuck, stole my keys. I'm surprised nobody stole my fucking car, bro. You messed with you. I'm bro. like, nah, bro. <clears throat> but I got I got a question for you, right? Wait, real quick. Oh, what? about to open this. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Show the, me your bed. Bro. I always got I drink mine. I always got the new bed, right? So today, never had it. Darren said it's pretty good. My that boy Corey said it's pretty good. It's a uh, Canada Dry Green Tea. We're gonna take a little. Why are you taking your bev? I'm gonna make my bev, bro. We go. We got the pole, <laughs> bro. All right. So you, he has an addiction. Uh, this me- shit, the meal. Y'all know about the meal, bro. On some real meal, y'all better. Y'all got a number one mascara right here. Y'all better send a sponsor to you know my what I'm boy, saying? That, he, Big pull up, nigga. No, he literally has a serious problem, bro. Yeah, you don't even, even have to pay him. Just give him free meal. <laughs> I bring this everywhere. Like I be bringing this to restaurants. This shit. So, what are your thoughts? So, if I told both of you guys. <clears throat> That this shit tastes like cucumbers. <laughs> what would you say? We don't like it. Yeah, I take that shit. Well, if y'all don't know, <laughs> Corey in the back, by the Corey, way. If y'all Corey's in the background with us. We got a game. You know, so we're about to go drop 30. Did you have that cucumber Gatorade before? I had it by accident. I thought it was a green apple. <laughs> I'm just like, let me grab it. <laughs> Grabbed it, bro. And I said, I was like, what? <laughs> Who wants this? <laughs> Yo, listen. Anybody watching this? If you like <laughs> cucumbers that much that you get a cucumber beverage, bro, you're weird. Like, like, you just don't do that. Corey, you do that? Cucumber what? Cucumber. Ah, you're being healthy. Cucumber Gatorade, you're you're a weirdo. Like, I need to see how many people, bro. Drop drop a cucumber in chat or something. <laughs> drop a cucumber in the, in in the, the comments. In the comments drop, a bro, drop a cucumber, that's bro. That's bad. Let me know, bro, because that's weird, bro. I'm not going to lie. With the word pause at the end. Yeah, drop a pause on that, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, it's 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 okay. That's not the best flavor though. There's a cranberry one. Cranberry that's... one goes. You had that for your party. Yeah, uh, wasn't it? That's just crack. They the got... cranberry one, and it had like a blackberry one. Yeah, black or like black cherry or black. black no, black, cherry. no black. It was blackberry. It was blackberry. It was that shit's Ooh, rocking, bro. D. Them Canada dries, bro. You can sponsor us too if you want to, bro. Shout yeah. out, yeah. shout out, y'all, bro. Oh, I'll, I'll drink it every day, bro. And then my snack is um, shout out to um. There's his little sister. Oh, yeah. Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Come get your drink. Yeah. This thing about the eat that lemons. Shit, that yeah. whole shit, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I sat literally when you gave it to me. The next day, I ate both boxes. <laughs> You're sick. The lemons are the best, bro. I don't know. Like, these are OD. You're really a southern nigga. Man. That's like that's some southern Ooh, this shit. Is a southern? Yeah. Like, my dad <laughs> likes that shit, bro. Like, my dad, my grandmother. Your dad's a good man. <laughs> like, he loves lemon, like, lemon squares and shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon Squares got it. No, that's okay. Lemon, Square. <laughs> Lemon Squares too much. No, I'm not gonna lie. He made it out the hood already, bro. So I'm t- <laughs> so make some lemonades. No more Lemon Squares. We don't need them shits no more. <laughs> that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> we, we in the suburbs. We can't be eating Lemon Squares no more, bro. We're not in the projects, bro. Hey, yo. But I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So. It's a one-on-one basketball game, right? Game to 12. You have to bet your life on one player. If they win, you get a mil- $100 million and you get to live. But if you if they lose, you die. It's LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Who are you betting on? Bron, Bron. You betting on LeBron? Bron, Bron. Game to 12? Bron. Game to be the one, two, three, four, See, five. I'm I'm going with LeBron too, but I'm not. He- I'm kind of hesitant because Michael Jordan is the ultimate tryhard. Like, 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 think about it. Think about it. 
Like, look, to be yeah, honest, we, we, we've we been, we've seen many tryhards in our lives, but them tryhards have never He's been. He's a fiend. Bro, like, yeah. The them, only person who tried harder than him was Tony Allen. But yeah, That's what I'm saying. But them tryhards have never been good at basketball. Now you have mixed a tryhard, and he's really good. Like this nigga is a fiend, especially in the, both of them in their primes. They knew about the debate. Who's the go? So here's the thing, though. Michael Jordan's a tryhard, but he like I don't know for lack of a better word, he's a little boy to LeBron. Yeah, <laughs> like LeBron could literally just back. All right, Le, like Jordan actually plays defense. LeBron, how much does LeBron weigh? I, I, I just gotta look up how much LeBron weighs. I, I'll, I'll say up most of like two forty. Or 250. Nah, he more than that, bro. He got 250. 250, 250. 250? LeBron. I ain't even got to type in James because they already know who the goat is. <laughs> but he weighs 250, bro. 250. What's Michael Jordan weigh? He probably weighed like a. He probably weighed like 215. Just, probably Michael Jordan was probably like 215. I'm just typing Jordan weight. <laughs> <laughs> 216. 216. I weigh more than Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's a little boy to me. I mean, he would beat my ass. But, <laughs> nah, but LeBron could back him that Like, going to the rim, he's not going to stop him. That's true. And then people are like, oh, well, Michael Jordan played defense. LeBron played no defense. People are asleep. LeBron almost won a deep boy when he was in Miami. Yeah, he did. LeBron plays defense, bro. Like, And then on top of that, bro, what can't LeBron do? I know, right? Like, what can't he do? Decide in my life or I'll, be, I'll pick LeBron. Anyway. If he, even if he lose, I'm like right, I'm still go, I'll, I'll go it's down. Like my that, life, bro. bro. I'm taking Bron Bron double time. I'm just afraid like that. Michael Jordan, he might start fouling. He might hurt that nigga. I'm like, damn. Now we gotta prolong this shit. That's Bron Bron. That's Bron. <laughs> Bron don't get hurt. Yeah, bro. Did you say Ladad? Yeah. But <laughs> what? <laughs> I, nigga trying to sneak that shit in there. He is. <laughs> He's Ladad, bro. He's literally the best. He's the best, bro. Le goat, bro. You, you heard about his uh, Bronny being top ten in the the mock drafts? What are your thoughts on that? Since you love defense, they say he's like a defensive specialist. Since you love playing defense, so much. him, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie though. I think this they compared him to uh, Drew Holiday. Yeah, and I think it's a fair. People are like Drew Holiday. That's disrespectful. That's fair. Drew Holiday's made. He has two All Star. Yeah, two. My thing is Drew Holiday will get you ten assists. LeBron, his his son does actually pass the ball really well mm-hmm. and play defense. But the thing about it is like, all right, being a point guard. He didn't. He didn't get the height growth spurt yet. No. But like, maybe he won't. But I think that's a really good sim because he hasn't done anything to prove. Like, people are expecting him to be like his dad. Yeah, no. Nah, he got the athleticism. His though. dad is. That nigga could jump. Did you see that little mixtape they brought out on Twitter, bro? You want me to be honest with you, bro? What? There are a lot of niggas that can jump like that. It's just because it's LeBron's son. It's just like, we like, oh, he windmilled. Oh, his yeah. name is LeBron James. Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I you know, know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I know it's what like. You mean. I know what you mean. And like we, I guess through media, everybody's watched him grow up. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like, all right, so you take you take little little LeBron Junior. Mm-hmm. I actually hate calling him Bronny, by the way. You want to call him LeBron Junior? That's his name. I mean, Bronny like, is a really bad nickname. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> like it doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> so Bronny, like when he gets drafted, they'd be like Bronny James. They're probably gonna say that off a of meat ride. They probably they definitely are because like you know they got mm-hmm. niggas like Bam out of bio and fucking yeah. yeah. Trey Trey yeah. Young. That's not even the, that nigga real name, bro. What's his name? <laughs> It's some, it's some weird shit. John Morant bro. is Tredavious. Like, this nigga, Stephen Curry name is like Wardell. Mm-hmm. So, like, you never know. But, but, excuse me, LeBron, his son, I think if he keeps progressing to where what he's doing now and keeps going, like, in, and he does it in college, he could be like 10 or 11. I can see that. He's going to have more stock, though, because wherever he goes, his dad is going to sign a contract with him. Hell yeah, bro. They about to run over there. Yeah, they're not, they not letting that. Yeah. LeBron so, might fuck around and buy the team, bro. So if I'm the Knicks. Draft that nigga just because? Hey, Amen. I'll take a, I'll take a I'll take, 40-year-old LeBron. I, 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 take, I take 45-year-old LeBron. I need to see LeBron once in my lifetime, bro. So I, I'll go to a Knicks. I'll pay a Knicks game. Knicks tickets for that. i seen LeBron fry. The Nets. I had season ticket. My dad had season ticket. Really? From a friend when uh, when they were in Brooklyn with Darren Williams, Kevin Garnett. He was on what? The Cavs? He's on the Heat. Oh, he's on the Heat? Yeah. Damn. That's tough. I need to see that, bro. I need to see Braun at least once, bro. He fried me. I Not need- me, but he fried them. <laughs> it was really Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh going off, but yeah. But LeBron was still there, bro? LeBron was there. That's he, tough. That's he, tough. He 26. But I got I got some things I want to talk to you about on the pod, bro. Mm-hmm. I got, there's a lot of shit that's been going on. You, of course you know. But I seen one shit, bro. They said that they're bringing back the Wooly Mammoth. So do you want to know how they're doing that? I want to know how. And I want to know why. So the reason why. 
So uh, the reason how they're doing it, right? So they have they have woolly mammoth DNA that they found like they, they defrosted, mm-hmm. and they're the closest relative to woolly mammoth is the Indian elephant. So they're gonna combine that DNA, add it with some you know genetics and shit like that, and they're gonna put it in an Indian elephant, and that Indian elephant will birth a woolly mammoth. And they said by 2027, there's they're gonna put, let them loose in like Siberia, and there's just gonna be like a flourishing ecosystem. And like the whole reason is just to see like how it is to like put bring back. Let them loose. Yeah, they're letting them loose. Okay. So the reason, the only re- the reason why is because they're trying to see what happens if they bring back like fauna into society again that has been extinct. They bring, I think they bring back the dodo bird or some shit like that. Dodo bird's harmless because we killed them niggas just because they was ugly looking. You know what they're trying to do though. That's how they what? started this Jurassic shit. Bro, that's what I'm saying. So like, oh, yeah, let's bring it. Well, man, oh, so nice. Look at the dodo bird. It's such a nice bird. Oh, and it gives us this. Oh, my gosh. The eggs taste so good. Oh. That's what I'm saying, Now, look, bro. we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It can protect. No. That's what I'm saying. They're just they're just adding on to it. Like, yeah. just imagine Nick, the armies that start bringing, like, T-Rexes, making, like, raptors and shit for war. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how in Jurassic Park they'd be losing them shits because like, <laughs> send a tank. That's what uh, T Rex will fuck up a tank. Them niggas kind of agile, bro. Them Raptors gonna just dip and dodge through them shits. But like, I was thinking, right? So, so they're saying all this now. Did they test this out on something? Like, have they been testing this for years and now they're just talking about it now? Because just imagine, right? So just imagine, because I know the CIA does does a lot of weird shit. Like imagine like you know all the little things that people see in the woods and shit like that. Imagine those are all like test subjects that just got loose. Because there was actually, like, a case where... I forgot where it was. It was, like, somewhere in, like, the, the mountains or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. They, there, was like a, there was, like, a lab, laboratory that got destroyed. And, like, there was, like, four scientists that died because mm-hmm. whatever they created got let loose and killed them all. And just left. I think there was... Because there's always shit that... They always have to test shit before you bring it out into public. I heard there was a case in the U.S. where they tested monkeys and the monkeys got out of the test facility. Really? And they started fighting people. Who, I saw it on Joe Rogan's podcast. Damn, I think monkey. some of that nature. And then monkeys were infected with stuff. And nobody got sick from it. But it's mm-hmm. like, do we really know if anybody got sick from it? I'm like, and how often are you just testing niggas? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so. like, I feel like they will create, like, they'll probably create, like, you know, niggas say Bigfoot and shit like that. Yeah. Maybe they might have, because, like, there was a there was a, a monkey back in the days that, that looked like Bigfoot. It was called, um, it's some long ass name. It's like Giganto something gigantopithecus some shit and it's like a big ass ape so maybe what if they try to bring that shit back to life they did and that shit went loose and now that shit's running throughout the fucking Damn. rocky mountainside and then i know and then i was um talking about it like uh cause i remember i think you brought it up before the mm-hmm. scp shit yeah so yeah. you heard you know there's a there's supposedly like a scp found scp foundation yeah, so the with the with the different type of organisms. And yeah, all. like it's like a like it's basically like the Men in Black and shit like that, and yeah. they like study or like try to contain anything. What is it, I think it's what it stands for like secure capture and like protect. Secure capture protect. I think. So yeah, I think so I guess it. So if y'all don't know, it's basically just like what they supposedly say is just like a organization that's like outside the government. Like it's a very secret type shit where they do, they are they're the ones that do all the paranormal shit. So whatever shit happens, like say. Say, like, people see UFOs or some shit. They come over and say, oh, there's nothing wrong. They go investigate themselves. They do... Like lab- Men in Black? Yeah, like, like basically... Like aliens, back. but, like, more spooky shit. Yeah, more, more spooky shit, like ghosts, mm-hmm. anomalies, random shit like that. And mm-hmm. they, like, either capture them or they do experiments on them. Mm-hmm. And, honestly, I don't know if I believe in that shit to an extent because I feel like if something that secretive would stay secret. I feel like it's something that's not called SCP, but they that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like that. And I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I, I, I think, like... I mean, we talked about ghosts and stuff, but I yeah. feel like they have some real secret stuff. Like, oh yeah, we just gotta keep these shits locked up. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. even gonna test them out because if this shit get out, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This it's is gonna, gonna get real crazy. That's so what we I'm gotta saying. keep it contained. I think there is something like that, but like, imagine if you become a super villain, not even super like a, somebody who just wants everybody to die. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, let's go. You rob that place and re, like take all their little it. little monsters or whatever the fuck they have mm-hmm. because a lot of people because like. It's like a like in the I think in the social media it's like a, it's kind of like a joke because like they think it's like mm-hmm. they have like monsters and shit for each. There's like a website yeah. and they have like you know different Mon- monsters. Yeah, and shit. as logged in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but like recently, I think it was on Joe Rogan podcast. But there was a guy. His name was. You ever heard of Bob, who Bob Lazar is? You probably heard. I of heard the name. The name. I heard the name. So Bob Lazar was a guy who worked in a facility called SR S. It was called S Four, and it was like mm-hmm. south of um, Area Fifty One. 
And he supposedly said that everything in there is something like the SCP shits. Like, he's seen, like, devices that control the weather. He's seen, like, new elements and, like, things that is, like, they unworldly. They have um, worldly. Devices, like, stuff like devices that control the weather. I think um, they have one that's to the public in New Zealand or Greenland or Iceland. One it, of those, con- it actually, like, controls the weather. One of those lands, yeah. That's cr- See? And they have, like, certain things that can, like, um, magnetize from, like, 100 yards away. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, you can move something. Like, you know, like a magnet from mad far away. Yeah, you know, yeah. But, like, pinpoint a direct thing. Mm-hmm. Without pulling all metal, you pull just one. Yo, I get, you, I get you, man. I get you, man. So, like, shit like that. But I'm not gonna, it's, like, a whole bunch of technology like that. And then it might be, like, remember the ocean? There yeah. might be an organism in the ocean that is OD. Mm-hmm. Like, on some Godzilla shit. That's like, what I'm saying. And, so. like, he was saying, like, he's, like, you know, like, the whistleblower. He was saying that, like, he's seen, like, UFOs that they were making. They're trying to make it. Like replicate, he's seen he's seen aliens in there, but like what I'm thinking is right. I don't know if what that all that shit might be true, mm-hmm. but it also might be the CIA likes to pull like mind games on people. So what? So I know I heard the CIA actually would pay people to start up conspiracies, so like we would never know what is real or not. So like, say he pays this guy Bob Lazar, like yo, you to know, say something fake that's far left from what we really got. Exactly. So now they're not even in the ballpark. Mm-hmm. To where we're, what we're actually doing. Because if something that secretive, that guy would have died, bro. If it was really that crazy. Like, if it was, or he would have, yeah. he would have never made it to the news. Yeah. If it was really that secretive. I feel or like, like if it got out, it would have, like, got shut down. That's, that's what I'm saying. Sure. I feel like it would have. you know, they're really good at shutting down a YouTube post. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I feel like if he was, like, if they, 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 if somebody's about to, like, whistle, bro, or, like, give up the whole operation, they know it before you do it. Mm-hmm. Cause it's that secretive. So like, I feel like the CIA or somebody, whoever, if there is, I I think there is still a program out there. I don't know if it's the SS, SCP or whatever. It's probably some because a lot of people I like a part of Area Fifty One. I feel like a real Area Fifty One would be like research, and then like that would be like Area Fifty Two. I don't know where yeah, they no. just hold it up. I feel like Area Fifty One is also like some shit like that. It's like people think yeah. that's where the aliens. I feel like somewhere like way way farther. Or like, where would they keep it? Cause like, what if they kept it like in a random city? Like right now? Like what if it's like just in Union? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You don't like, never what if know. It that's what I'm saying. Like I, that's why it's like probably being like in the middle of Nevada. Mm-hmm. You would never know. Somewhere in the desert, somewhere where you desert, Antarctica, Sahara Desert, somewhere where nobody will ever oh, take the go. Oh, hundred ten percent Antarctica because you can't even go over there. That's what yeah, I'm saying. That's a good one. Yeah. So I don't know. I just feel like, like if there was ever an organization that was that bad, we would mm-hmm. not know about it. But like I wouldn't be surprised if there was one that's actually yeah. like studying all this shit. Nah, they definitely have to a secret one, a secret Cause, organization. Because someone said that is there, there is an organization mm-hmm. that's like outside the government that the government don't even know about. They're funded by themselves. They all, they got their own military, got their own navy, and it's just them. But they do certain like special tasks. Like I don't know what they're dealing with either. It's the all the anomalies and shit like that, all the outside shit. Because yeah, bro, that'd be tough. I I work there. Hey, if you ever go to the FBI, they freaking they offer you a contract, my nigga. They probably kill me. Nah, I think you're too tall for that yeah, shit. Be like, yeah, you can't go in your boy podcast somewhere. <laughs> you can't go in your boy podcast, though. <laughs> they probably won't even ask you, to be honest. Yeah, man. They know, bro. They know. Well, oh, yeah. You've been on that shit. How many nope. times? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even go over there, bro. But I got another question for you, right? Yeah. So would you rather all humans in the world switch places with bugs, as in, like, size-wise? Mm-hmm. So we become the size of bugs, but bugs become like us. Mm-hmm. Or all bugs in the world have magical powers. So, like, some bugs might be super strong. Some bugs might have, like, flamethrower mouth. Some bugs could, like, be supersonic speed. So some bugs be do smart. Do I become a bug, too? In that world? No, in where we switch. No, you're just... You're a human, but you're just really small. So I'm the only... Oh, like, sizes. Yeah, so. size-wise, you switch. Ooh, that's... You ever played a game Grounded? You ever heard of the game Grounded? I heard of it. Me, Kenny, and Steve playing that. It's kind of busting similar. I'm not going to lie to you. Here's where the problem is drawn. Spiders are OD. I know. <laughs> spiders are OD. The spiders they get like, like... And not only that, ants... Mm-hmm. Imagine like, ants with like super human strength. <laughs> just throwing super niggas. Super strength, bro. They... But you can see ant man. they can lift up a thousand times. They I know. Not only that, they work like a team. They're the best team ever. They would beat... <laughs> they would beat the 72 and 10 Jordan. <laughs> like they would... They would fry Jordan. That team, they're so together. That's the best. That's the best. Best the, ever. Best uh, team chemistry. Best team chemistry, bro. Damn. And then on top of that, not just that, then... Uh, worms are not... In- are they insects? Or worms? Yeah, they're insects. Just worm. imagine a worm with them, with powers, bro. Imagine a worm is super smart. I'm not gonna lie, we'll be hunted. Screw the brain, bro. This like... 
them knowing what to. I ain't gonna lie. Bees, what? Tarantula. Yeah, bro. And we switch. I mean, no matter what the tech. I mean, we have nukes. IRL. Like, feel me in real life. So mm-hmm. if we have, if we develop a nuke. At that little, as us that it, small, it would feel me like that small. It probably like blow up your, not even your room, cause it would <laughs> blow up like this little, blow up a chair, chair, the chair. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to develop mad nukes. I feel like at that point we'll just live underground. That's what you think these insects. Oh, so we better <laughs> done up, so, done up. So which one are you gonna choose? The, the magical sim- powers, but they're still the same size. Yeah, still the same size. They just got powers. If I'm running from a bee, and that shit slows down time, <laughs> like, like that's where that's where I lose it. I'm not gonna lie, I have to go powers though. I don't have no powers. Nah, you don't got no powers. I'm just you're just normal. But this, but like this ant could like throw you if you wanted to, like if you fuck with. Like him. I try to step on him and then he like shoots me. Yeah, yeah. Like, shoots like a, a giant like stinger through my foot. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, if I see a spider in my room, I'm going to start bugging now. I know. That's an ass. I think I might just go be smaller. At least I would just try to stay away from, like, the surface world. Like, I'll really become, a, a like, a real, like, real-life bug. Like, I'm in the I'm in the trenches. I'm in the dirt, bro. Yeah, you're in the dirt. <laughs> Niggas not going to find yeah, me. Yeah, I think I'm going to be... I think I switch sizes, bro. Because that's crazy. Imagine a mosquito with lasers. Like, what, like, like, random shit like that, bro. I can't live. I can't... I wouldn't be able to live, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's D for that one, yeah. Yeah, I switch sizes. I want you on that one. Switch sizes? I switch sizes, bro. I'll take that. There's no way i do anything else but switch sizes. Oh, my God. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. now I got a, I got another thing to tell you. This is actually really interesting to me. I, I was reading this. I was watching a video about this on the, mm-hmm. on TikTok. Some guy I seen on TikTok. Yeah. They said, do you, all right, let me ask you a question. Do you believe back in the days there was ancient, ancient civilizations that was more advanced than us? I'm not going to lie. I think I, 100%. I feel two things. I feel like a lot of them were... Based in Mexico and Africa, mm-hmm. like, and then not only that, just because I feel like they were, if they went, like, when the civilizations went down, they didn't keep their history mm-hmm. because of the color of their skin. You feel me? So yeah, like, I get you. Especially, like, in Egypt. Like, that's a big one in Egypt. Like, yeah. I believe Egypt, like, they were way smarter than we even thought. Like, math, yeah. everything way smarter. Mm-hmm. Now, with technology, I don't know about technology, but I feel like they were able to do things just as easily without the technology. I believe they were really, 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 like, like uh, way better. And I feel like there's a lot of civilizations just from water. Like, you know how, like, the Sierra Desert used to be... Yeah, green. Uh, um, used to have to be, like, oasis. And then yeah. Hella, like, you feel me? There's hella places, like, they, like no deserts. It used to be filled with hella water and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? And hella life. I feel like all that changing got rid of civilizations. Yeah. And then that's where, you feel me? That's I where get you. I get you. comes in. Because... So I ask that because there's supposedly a ancient civilization that's been like kept secret or been erased from history because mm-hmm. if we find out about them, then it mm-hmm. changes like the whole, our whole way of like life. So it's basically called, yeah. I think it's called New Tartaria or Tartaria or some shit like that. Yeah. It was based where, you know, where Russia and like uh, Russia, it was where Russia and, um, you know, where Europe is like on the top of the southern, northern hemisphere. Yeah. Yeah. It was up there. Okay. So basically, this civilization was, I think, let me see if I'm correct. So I don't know how long, it might have been maybe like 10, a couple thousand years ago, maybe 20,000 years ago, some shit like that. There was a civilization where they figured out how to create free energy. Basically making, taking energy from like the, the, um, the, I don't know if it's the atmosphere or just the world in general. So with free energy, the people were like free and they don't, they didn't have to work. So that meant that they were able to be more creative and do more things because they had more time on their hands. So you started making more inventions and they think that that civilization is the people that made like the Great Wall of China, the pyramids, or help inf- help people create shit like that. Taj Mahal because those things, we can't create those things today. Like the Great Wall of China, bro, that shit's huge. I never realized how big that is. And it's like, a lot of people say like, the, the Great Wall of China, like the, you know, like the post is facing China. Yeah, oh shoot. So it's like, why is it facing China they if it's knew. supposed to go the other? If it's supposed to protect China? Oh, like to keep them out. Yeah. So like, because it's oh. on the it's supposed. To, that's what that's what they say. But supposedly, there was a secret organization or a secret like group that was controlling the rest of the world through with um. They was like profiting off of energy. Right. So they had to destroy that civilization because it was 
messing with their whole plan of controlling. I, was, I feel like yeah, like the ancient economy. Mm-hmm. I think that because money is the root of all evil. You know That's what I'm saying. saying. Like, like you know like who's the, like the up. biggest people in the world is the like the, a Tesla. Uh, you know Tesla when he was around, like they he had um he had developed somewhere the Tesla like co- Wi-Fi when Wi-Fi was first mm-hmm. coming, like, where it would be able to like Wi-Fi would reach a, upon a span of a whole town. Yeah, and it'd be free. Mm-hmm. They're like. We charge niggas for that shit. That's what I'm saying. That was the I think that was the Tesla coil. Yeah, exactly. And like that's why I'm saying like I feel like they like they and like once that organization like was able to dethrone them, they just create a whole new history for us because now yeah. they're putting us in line for us to continually yeah. work and make them like more power. To that's keep what them it is. It's the economy, yeah. Because if you could charge somebody for something that you can make for free, exactly. You feel me? Or oh, you believe you gotta do something to get it? But mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like we don't. There's a lot of things that we don't necessarily need. Like. There, you can make. You tell me with the t- technology now, we can't make cars run on salt water. Exactly. Like you, you heard about that guy that created the 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 a car that runs off of water. Yeah. And they, did they kill him? They killed them, bro. Yeah, it makes sense. They killed them, and they they supposedly killed them, and they took away all this. They burned his whole shit. Personally, if it was me, if I made a car that could run on water, I don't tell nobody. Yeah, you're not because free gas, bro. The the most the most. Freaking um, what's it called? Powerful people in the world is the people that is the people that run the oil companies. Oh. People that run the, the the banks and shit like that. So if you yeah. met, and they're just, I feel like they're just putting us in like a line. But yeah. if we had free energy, we can do whatever we want exactly. because is like and it, that Tartarian city. Did they have like any like um like sculptures, murals, anything like any like you know how like there's a pyramids yeah. where, um, where to show that they were there or is it like like they, I think they buried they remains. Everything. Okay, yeah. I think they buried everything, everything goes down. Yeah, yeah. So probably the remains. Yeah, because like I mean, I remember they used to they used to find things like of like tools of like old or I know they they think that because you know the pyramids and shit like that, right? There's no way that we could build a pyramid today. No, we couldn't. It's literally impossible. Yeah, so it's like I feel like they knew how to like they they was able to like innovate new technologies to help the whoever or they had help to mm-hmm. build the pyramids, and it's like. Like I, like like we said with Nikola Tesla and that guy that built, made the car, they okay. built inventions that could change the world. Like Nikola Tesla yeah. made the Tesla Tesla coil, that is literally what that the whole civilization did. Like they takes it takes energy out the atmosphere, and literally could like you said could charge a energy whole nation. Can't be bro. Created or destroyed, Science, you know you can't be created or destroyed, so it has to be somewhere in it. Exactly. Damn. So like the whole time, and then they just create a whole new. They're trying to tell us like, oh no, we're the we're like the main. Uh, civilization, we're the smartest that we ever been in life, but that's really—I don't think that's really the case for real. Because nah, they, I, I really think the Egyptians were way smarter than us. I'm not going. Mm, that's what I'm saying. Like it, does, it makes no sense uh, how all these things. Like what we've been taught in school is that we came up from cavemen, yeah, and then we just kept moving kept up and evolving, kept evolving forward. over that, and so then now we're behind here. Behind us isn't as smart as us. Exactly, but that, but they, niggas forget. There's a part of history that we don't know what the fuck happened in, where we just came from cavemen to yeah. like speaking normal English. So I don't know. It yeah. could. I I think there was maybe a civilization like that. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think a hundred percent. There's no there's I, I just don't think there's it's a possibility for it not to be like Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The fact that how everything plays out, it just And you heard about uh what was it? It's a library. Is it called the catacombs? I don't know. Oh, the uh in um in France? Yeah, that you can't go in. Yeah, it's cause isn't like a big ass tomb, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Big ass library that you can't go in. You have to be Oh like wait, no, that, that's not that's not the catacombs. I know what you're talking about though. The catacombs is like a big ass tomb underneath France. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm talking about it's a library. Is it the Vatican? The Vatican. The Vatican's scary. You can't go in. You know that's a, you know that's like a, a a country. The Vatican is a country. It's the smallest country in the world, bro. Just that library. It's like a because it's a um it's like it's basically an area. It's like Vox Hall, but with like a giant church. Like the church is run by, like the Vatican church is like yeah. whatever's in those walls is like their own shit, and there's rules and shit like that. Like yo, there's so much shit that goes on in there that's so creepy, bro. But. Like yeah, like and did you like you said like so, only certain people go, okay, in that go in there? I'm like, what books are in there, bro? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's probably books in there that are. It is a big ass library. Yeah, like, bro. Feel me? So I think shit like that. Like only you, certain. What, what are you hiding books for? That's what I'm me? saying. You only see in movies when they hide like books like the Bible and stuff like that. Yeah. Because they don't want people to get certain type of enlightenment. Mm-hmm. They're hiding something in there. Yeah, bro. You feel me? I just feel like because like once we find out like our actual history and shit like that, then we're gonna realize like yo like they, they we've been lied to our whole t- this whole time, bro. Because yeah. like 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 we said, bro, it's like you put us in line because if we get out of line, then it might it's not 
benefiting you, like yeah. the whoever is controlling us. Yeah. Whoever is controlling, like it's basically just we think all like we've been generated throughout our life to go through certain things. Like we we have to go to school, we got to go to college. If you don't go to college, you're a bum. Yeah. You got to go work, and now you got to work until you die. Yeah. That's the whole timeline that they built for us ever since we was a kid. So now yeah. it's like if you. If imagine we didn't need to do that, like what we don't wouldn't know what else to do. Yeah, like think yeah. about it. They wouldn't be able to profit off of us. Exactly, if we didn't need to do that. Yeah, if we didn't with colleges, with debt loans, with, oh, yeah, with gas time. prices, all that big shit. Time. They would never need to do that shit. But it's like everything. Them niggas rule the world. Whoever them niggas are, whoever it's the Freemasons. What was yeah. the guys you was talking about again? It was um, Rothschilds. The Rothschilds could be yeah. them. The Rothschilds. Like Those like you ever heard, you know you know Charles Darwin's a Freemason, bro. No, for real. Yes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I only know the word Freemason from uh, Soluminati. Oh, really? I don't even know. Like, I, for me, I be getting scared when I be watching shit by myself, for real. <laughs> so I be either have to read it or hear it from one of my do, do you know what the Freemasons are? No, nah, what are Freemasons? They're basically are? like the Rothschilds, but they own, they're like way bigger. So like- They, they don't got nothing to do with like being black. Like, a lot of people that you never knew were Freemasons mm -hmm. are Freemasons. Like, like they basically control- it. I don't- they, there's a thing that goes around that they control like how we live like our Illuminati? lives. Kinda. Like they're okay. they're it's like a it's like a um it's like a fraternity, but it's like a very secret secretive group. Oh uh, secret society. Type secret shit. society, yeah, that's what okay, it is. Okay, and they yeah. basically have control over yeah, things, yeah. especially in the media. Like it's really crazy. Okay. Like I never knew like a lot of people that are higher up, like you know Adam twenty two? Yeah. He's a Freemason. Adam twenty two is a Freemason. I heard Martin Luther King's father and his grand their his gr grandfather were Freemasons, so it's like all these nigg all these people. Charles Darwin was a Freemason. He's the one who created what like how we became ourselves. George Washington was a Freemason. A lot of the presidents were Freemasons. If you look it up and at like look look Obama? up Obama, I don't know about Obama. Damn. I don't know about Bo I wouldn't Obama, be surprised. Though. Obama too real, Trying but it's like you, yeah. but it's like if MLK. But just think about it, right? If MLK was free. MLK. His father and his grandfather were Freemasons, right? Mm -hmm. What if, like, his whole duty was to, like, like he's just, he was part of the timeline. Part of their plan. Yeah, part of the whole plan. Just yeah. to, like, like they knew yeah. all this shit was going to happen. And now it's just it's just falling in line. Like, there's yeah. a set plan that we have in life. And, like, they're controlling it. Like, that's why you see Adam-22 is the nigga. He's bringing all the social media together and shit like that. He's bringing everybody on social media. Yeah. And it's like, damn. Like, when, when, I, when I was thinking about that, I was, because I knew... They was they was talking about freaking um Charles Darwin. They don't believe like his old thing. But I was like, you know, let me see if he's actually one of these niggas. And it actually said it. Like a lot of people. Like if, a lot of people that you wouldn't know. Damn. It's scary, bro. I didn't even know that. And then I also see I also read a there's a CIA document that mm -hmm. came out like two thousand in two thousand ten years ago. Mm -hmm. And no everybody just started talking about it now. It's called the Adam and Eve story, bro. Oh. Did you ever hear that? Hear about those. that, bro? I love those. I, I I be hearing about different stories about how Adam and Eve like it was real, but yeah. like I don't no, no, it's not anything about that. It's oh, basically not anything about those it's ones. basically a document. It's like a 25 250 page document, but they only cla really. uh, declassified 58 pages because it's really nuts. So it's basically it's a whole, the whole document is a written it's it basically explains how the world is going to end in in great detail, right? So basically has it been true? It it, it makes sense, right? Oh, so like bro. so let me explain, right? So basically the book was written in 1966 and they had to and the CIA had to classify it because it was really it was too much for like too dangerous for society because it was really making too sense. dangerous because okay. think about it so basically I don't like to hear that. they say, they say the world is going to end because the the poles mm -hmm. like you know north and south pole they shift every 12,000 to 15,000 years mm -hmm. and once they shift it causes like a giant like apocalypse like giant big cataclysmic. ass yeah cataclysmic big ass earthquakes giant tsunamis Everything just goes wrong, and it said that. Or I think when we, if we look back in our as like our first humans, like as us, it was ten thousand years ago. So if you think about it, ten thousand years ago, we're in year two thousand. We're at twelve thousand years right now, and now you see like global warming and shit like that. Like we're in the, and it, it says that the the like the world would end between two thousand year two thousand and five thousand, because fifteen thousand years. It's between twelve and fifteen thousand years, and you can see like it might be starting up because that's why you see global warming Everything and shit like that. Happen, yeah. mm -hmm. And it's like they say that in the book is in the book it says that there's been six advanced six mm -hmm. civilizations that fell because of the, or I think it says that we're no it says that we are the sixth civilization that came 
from after the that came out of the That's apocalypse the because yeah, yeah. after when once once the apocalypse happens there's like we go right back to the stone age like oh. it just resets everything because now and that explains a lot because you know remember how you were saying that the sahara desert yeah used, used to be water. green and like the antarctica yeah. used to have like forests and shit like that yeah. that's what happens like it switches like switches everything and flips yeah so now like some places turn cold some places turn hot and then they you can and then i know a lot of people like they say we've been on earth like way longer like millions of years instead of 10,000 years yeah. because they see they find like uh tools like a, like somebody found like a hammer that was 400,000 years old yes. oh past the time past yeah. the time yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like we've been here longer but it's like Every time this event happens, it we just restart. Every, yeah, hard reset. So we just get to a certain point in life, and then it just hard reset. Hard reset, and that—that's why they think that's why they was talking about like Noah, like the flood in the Bible and shit like yeah. that. All the floods that have been happening. So it's saying like this. It won't. It's between. Hopefully not now. Hopefully I'll be dead. Two thousand and five year five thousand is when it should like that's when the poles will shift, and it said the poles will shift from like the top to like the the Bengal Sea or some shit like by yeah, India yeah, yeah. it's gonna go that's how that's where the North Pole is gonna end up and that's that where the Bengal Sea is gonna be the new North Pole and then the South Pole is gonna be on this side and then it's just gonna everything's just gonna shift that's what it went to be yeah bro damn so it makes sense when they talk about how like certain parts of the world would look different like millions like a bunch of years ago I'm thinking like I'm literally looking at it cause they they show a whole bunch of things like how the mountains are yeah like where where it's green and it's like okay well like it, 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 they're talking about um looking at um by Egypt like cause mm-hmm. Egypt used to have like uh, the Nile River used to be all green yeah you know what I'm saying and all that and then the way it looks it was like it was like similar to like wave patterns yeah and then you look at where the ocean is now and how there's ravines and, mm-hmm. and like mountains underwater. That's what I'm saying. So then if you flip it, if you flip the, the terrain, the depth, then it will automatically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it will come up. So shit like that. Yeah, exactly. That's why so, they, they was talking about that's probably what happened to Atlantis and shit like that. I was just that. about to say Atlantis. I was just about to say Atlantis. Yeah, I was about to say like it would make sense for a city in the water if the water wasn't there before. That's what you I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So like it, but it does make sense. That's why they had to declass it. That's why, but like that's only 58 pages. There's way more that's in that book. That we came like just imagine this probably gets even more in depth and more like descriptive. That's some crazy ass shit, my nigga. Damn. Like, cause that really makes a lot more sense based on like 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 I've been like ever since I've been starting like looking at shit like this, I've been yeah. like falling down a rabbit hole. I've been really <laughs> thinking. Going down nah, I really have, bro. Like, like the shit they taught teach us in history, bro. Like it's really it don't really make too much sense. Damn. Not nah, irrelevant. I ain't gonna it lie. really don't make sense. Like all this freedom sh- history majors. Bro. Nah, no high key, bro. <laughs> they gonna they gonna be they'll be out of my fucking neck, bro. <laughs> they gonna be out of my neck, like yo, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm just saying, bro. If yeah. if we, I remember somebody told me this one question. History. He asked this one question. He said this one uh, statement I seen on TikTok. He said, "If we came from apes, why are there still apes with us?" Yeah, that's bars. I ain't go. Yeah, like yeah. that's a good question. Yeah, if there's, why? if we, if we, came, to keep evolving. So exactly. Yeah. So like, how are we? Here, yeah. These are these are our ancestors. Why the fuck are they still here? Yeah. Like everybody, yeah. when everybody evolves, like, evolves there, everybody changes. Everybody changes. Like, and then that's like that. That kind of makes a little sense. But it's like, did yeah. we come from apes or did the apes come from? It's like it don't make. I don't know. Yeah, what the difference is. Yeah. That's why every 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 now and then I look at that Darwinism shit. I feel like it don't really make too much sense, bro. Yeah. I feel like they just gave it like like I said. You can lie. Here's you never sheet. take that. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Believe it. You yeah. never know the truth until you experience it yourself, bro. Yeah, I feel that, bro. I remember. You know, with my birth market shit like that, right? Yeah. I used to tell niggas I got stabbed in the in the face. I used to tell the campers that all the time. I'm niggas. You used to tell me that. No, I, was, I know you're talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> You never yeah. know. I, anybody could really lie to you for real. Yeah, you know, you'd be like, damn. Yeah, it could be anything. Type shit, bro. Hey, bro. Don't come after me. I bro. might be crip. <laughs> I think it's, it might be crip. Might not be a federal agent. All right, I got I got a question for you now, my brother. All right. So, would you rather be hunted down by an elite flock of military trained geese? They have equipment on them. They are very intelligent. Or have an overgrown black bear spawn a hundred feet from you once a year. Do I know what day in the year he's it, coming? Eh, it's random. How big is a flock? Like twelve? 
Uh, like twelve, fifteen. But they have guns. They can't have guns. That's max. They're pretty. They got. They got like knives on their feet. Like knives on their. Oh, web. and they're trained. So they're they trained. So they're unit. pretty smart. And yeah. they're hunting me. They're hunting you down. But then a bear will spawn once a year. You could kill the geese. I mean, like, you can still kill the geese, but it's like them niggas. Them niggas is like stalking you. <laughs> like, like you just hear a flock over your head, but then that, that's not them. That's just like a diversion. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. 100 feet? Yeah, 100 feet for me. So it won't be... It, you, when you sleep in, it's not going to be in your room. Is that hunting me too? No, nah, it's not. It's just it like... It spawns. It just spawns. You can so run away. I could be running on the track, working out, and it'll just spawn. Now I'm deed because it's open field. Yeah. But... um, You can run away. I'm going with bear. You can go with bear? I'll be in a city. Yeah. So... Yeah. I feel like... Gonna be I was going to pick the bear too because I'm low-key. Them geese, bro... The, they the, they want to kill me. They want to kill you, and the they bear fly. doesn't necessarily. Yeah, <laughs> like one uh, one year I might get a bear that's like he might he don't want to really like fight for real. Even if he's hungry, like he spawns like yo, where am I at? I'm running into somebody else. Like yo, get him. Like, <laughs> go go get this guy. Yeah, go get the bear. Yeah, exactly. So like, and if he, all right, so if it's every year he starts chasing after you still. I mean, I could you can still run away. You don't gotta fight the bear. That's what I'm saying. I'm running. Yeah, that's why I, I think once, I'm gonna take the once, bear. Once he gets, yeah, I'm taking the bear. I think yeah. I'm taking the bear too. That's tough. But if you ever see me fighting in the forest with a grizzly bear, help the bear. Real shit, bro. Yeah. That's bars. <laughs> yeah, it's super bars. Type of shit. Type of shit. <laughs> so now I got another question, right? Yeah. So if you can, if you can, cre- if you could cre- create an army full of one specific animal to take over the world. And let's say we're back in the days where there's no like nukes or guns and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Back in like the medieval times where there's just like knives and where there's just swords and shit like that and catapults. What animal would you choose to make an army out of? One specific animal and you have you can have So it could be that animal but all the species of that animal? Not all the species, but like if just you pick one if you pick a grizzly bear, it's well grizzly bears. I think I'm gonna go with Damn, this is gonna sound so like targeted, but like <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna go like it just this be it's on my mind and I ain't gonna lie. Take over the world. Take over the world. Oh, I gotta go different now. You wanna know my my uh, What's yours? What's yours? I think I'm gonna pick a polar bear. Cause polar bears one, they can swim. D bro. Why is D for polar Let's go where it's hot. What is wrong with y'all? You're like the fourth. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. Just because it's hot don't mean they're going to melt. But <laughs> What the fuck? He's not going to melt, but he don't want to be there, bro. So? His skin is too thick and his fur is too thick for bro, him to that be. that don't mean. He could just survive in the cold. Going to Trinidad, bro. He, what does that mean? He don't like hot water. He needs bro, cold he water. Can, he can swim. He's, all, he's a meat eater. He's going to. Yeah, but they can't survive in the heat for too long. How do you die. know that? If you put a polar bear in the in the same habitat as a grizzly bear, the polar bear will die. <laughs> no, he would not. Yes, he, bro. I think he would just be confused. I don't think he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, Whoa. The, like trees. I ain't never seen trees in my life. He'll nah, just be bro, confused. I'm telling you, bro. Can I'm looking it up, bro. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Why is this a thing? In, this, you're like the. Did, did, did I talk about polar bears with you before? Nah. This I'm is the first saying, time you're saying this, bro. I heard this four times on this bro, podcast. Polar bears cannot simply act act acclimatize to the <laughs> life in hot climates even if a polar bear is born in a warm in a warm climate and lives there all his life he will still possess several physiological a- adaptations to the arctic okay that's fine he's not gonna die he's gonna die no, he's not he's just gonna be com- <laughs> he just said that like, basically just said he's gonna be confused brown bears polar bears in the state you know how big polar bears are Them there just- are polar bears in florida i need to get off the internet <laughs> there are polar bears in florida how Probably the zoo. I don't know. I just saw that. I just stopped reading. You just stopped reading it. But I ain't gonna lie. Polar bears not messing with me in Trinidad, bro. Bro, if I had an army of I'm polar in the tropic, bears, they they can't acclimate. So he's not gonna be able to climb a mountain. That he can climb ice. He's bro, not gonna climb a mountain. Climbing, a, climbing ice is harder than climbing a mountain. Nah, yes, it is. it's dirt, bro. You have different claws, bro. What? He has like, ice. Bro. No way, you're serious. You can <laughs> dig in, but it, the mud is gonna come down. Okay, so we'll find me? another way up the mountain. <laughs> 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 you can get up, but the polar bear is deep, bro. Bro, my, my polar right, bear was so fine. I originally was going to say the um, dogs, Akitas. That is ass. Shout out to my guy. <laughs> but the, the it's not ass. It's just, shout out to my man. Yo, listen. Akitas, one, dogs in general are loyal, right? Okay, yeah. Loyal, and li- and most dogs are obedient. The reason why I chose Akita because they're loyal. They listen. They're obedient. You can You can't do stealth shit with a polar bear. You're just not gonna do stuff. I don't do need stuff. to do stuff. I'm just gonna run the world. Yeah, you can't run not my world. We're just gonna, we're gonna, right bro. 
But with, <laughs> with an Akita, I can sneak you with five. I can sneak you with twenty Akitas. You will never know. Yo, yo, I don't need to sneak you with. I'm not gonna bears. lie. Like for example, Corey's Akita is quieter than his cat. Okay. And cats are supposed to. Why be are we same. sneaking up, I think I'm at the front door. We're, assa- we're assassin. You're gonna barge in because you think you a tank and shit. We're gone. We're out. We're gone. All right, I with. I, I take it over your land. Then I'm not, taking over the world, bro. Yeah, but then when you get too close, now you think, oh, I got it all free and shit. You got a key to right in your neck, and you're dead, bro. But you can't even take over through the water, bro. And it, I can get water and Akita, land. You think Akitas can't swim, bro? They can't swim like polar bears. Swim. Oh, wait, time out. Did you even know? <laughs> Akitas were bred back back in the times when they first were bred to hunt <laughs> bears. Not a polar bear, my nigga. To hunt bears. Polar bears I'm are ten feet long. <laughs> A gri- grizzly bears, more sk- bro. My they were bred to hunt them. My army of polar bears is gonna kill your army of Akitas, bro. I'm telling you right now, polar bears will not. They literally <laughs> hunt them. They literally Akitas are used to that. They're gonna be like, have you heard? Oh, is this Lunik? Have uh, you seen heard that? Been polar there? bears are like the most dangerous animals on the but planet. But yo, bro. guess what? They don't even work together. Polar bears don't even like each other. They stick with their children, and then some of them eat their children, and then after that, it's over. Okay, but it's an army, so like they're gonna be loyal to me. Nah, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's an army. Don't piss them off. You could piss off the kid and be like, "You say sorry," he'll be like, "I bet." I tra- yeah, What's, I'm gonna train a polar I bear. Bet. I bet. You- <laughs> I'm gonna train the polar bear. <laughs> I, you're gonna. <laughs> you t- this is say you gotta get going extinct. Yeah, they're Yo, going extinct. Your time's yeah, gonna, out of all the animals in the world, you pick the dog. I didn't pick it. I picked the big dog. <laughs> What I say, bro? Not even the what biggest? I say, bro, bro, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Oh my, come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Oh, bears are all big and shit, but they're not dogs. Yo. You don't got that dog in them. I literally have the dog, bro. You tell me right now, yo. Oh my god. Bro, I'm telling you, next time you have a pod, bro, now you gotta now you gotta bring a Nikita. Now you gotta bring Corey's Akita on the pod next oh, time. Oh, you just threw the live? Just threw the oh, yeah. live. Crazy. <laughs> nah, my man. Next podcast, Corey, he's gonna bring Bishop. He's gonna bring Bishop. Just caught the live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling because yo, I'm telling you, bro. They're silent. They're cool. Bro, not only that, you're not gonna sit and chill and enjoy a meal with your with your polar bear. Polar bear's gonna be like that. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, but you need feel me? Now you're just, just gonna soldiers. be a dictator. You're gonna sit there, oh, oh, I got polar bears. Akita, yo, you wanna play the game? <laughs> You might rock with you. You feel me? He's going to chill. have one cool polar bear that's going to be like nice He's not going to be that cool. He's going to be like, I'm hungry, bro. I'm about to eat you if you don't give me some food. Like, <laughs> you could have picked like anything. You could have picked. If you would have said whales, I would have been cool with it. I'm not- <laughs> like, you could have you could have finessed whales. Akitas, bro. I'm telling you. If I have an army of them, <laughs> army. they're silent and loyal, First bro. of all, okay. They're you- the easiest to train, too. Them people got, the, the, the medieval times, they got catapults and they got swords they yeah. gonna stab the fuck out your dogs. They hunt bears. They hunt, <laughs> they literally the people in medieval times bred them to fight wars with them. Yeah, let me know what what animal, bro. Who gonna win? Oh my god, an Akita, bro. Akita and a polar bear. Right now, I'm taking. I'm take. I'm telling you, if you see an Akita fighting a polar bear, help the bear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, bro. bro. Let me let me change this shit up before this shit get too crazy, bro. <laughs> bear, bro. Yo, you ever you ever you listen to Oh, oh you're what? you are a polar bear fanatic. You're addicted to that. <laughs> oh, you're a fanatic. <laughs> yo, 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 y'all can't see. <laughs> but his bed sheets right now have polar bears. <laughs> it's like <laughs> 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Yo he's a weirdo Alright my fault I forgot I can't talk to him like Yo he yeah. Yo it's literally All yeah. polar bears There's nothing on there But polar bears and leaves bro <laughs> Yo nah that's crazy How you peep that shit Yeah you're a weirdo It's just Damn Niggas no, yeah, He's niggas a fanatic bro It's all got good me. bro Everybody got their weird Little Man. Yeah, yeah. That's tough. <laughs> but yeah. I want to talk. You ever, you ever um listen to Deathbed Confessions, bro? Like you know no, when people about to die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I was um so you know yo I never realized like a lot of people got some confessions before they die, bro. Like it's they just want to just they just want forgiveness. A lot of racist ones, but yeah. No, nah, a lot of racist ones. Like you heard about the one where it was like a uh it was um so a woman said that she was she had dementia, and a mm-hmm. woman was um she she told her caretaker that yo I've been seeing this figure like in my room all the time and i don't know who it is he's scaring me every time like uh, he's mm-hmm. like a, of a black guy and she's like i don't know what you're talking about. there's no black guy but he she she confessed to him to her saying that like yo when i was back in the days uh a black i think 
It was um, what the fuck happened? Yeah, the one where she said she um, cut, what's it called? Lied and said that a black guy raped her. Or something yes, like yes, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he got killed for that. Shit. Because she lied to her parents saying that this guy touched her. Because mm. that because he seen her she seen his little sister's dress and it looked better than hers. Yes. And she was like and she, but she didn't know it was gonna escalate like that. But she just that, she couldn't have stopped it. No, I, bro, she was That's already, why I hate people, bro. It's crazy, bro. But I seen this one that it was a guy, he was dying of dementia and shit like that. So as when he like on his last days he started remembering a lot of things. So he remembered that his brother he had he had a, he has a t- identical he had an t- identical twin brother, mm-hmm. but they both fought in Vietnam War. But he died in the war. But he confessed to the lady that the war didn't kill his brother. He killed his brother because he wanted to take his identity and marry his wife. So he basically killed his brother in Vietnam to make it seem like the war killed them, so he could take his brother's identity and take his life and his wife and shit like that. And he did it. I. Th- <sighs> I think he. So he was really his brother. I think he did it to to extent, but I think and like the family didn't believe it. The family that he probably you know what he probably did he probably killed the brother and said that oh the he died. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I and think said he died. Said oh yeah, and like the he family was like in denial about it because the caretaker told the pa- the the family she they was like nah he didn't do that but like they found a written letter in like an old Bible saying that he did it, like a really old letter. That's some crazy shit, bro. Like, just imagine you kill your own brother. Twin. Twin. Literally twin, kill bro. Kill twin. Kill twin just just because, bro. That's wild. I ain't gonna lie. Them deathbed confess. I ain't got nothing confess when I die. That'd be OD. Type shit, bro. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. I- Cheated in that exam. <laughs> Back in 22. <laughs> you you ever tried that chat GBT shit for your exams yet? Bro, ever try it? I be running that shit. You be running shit that shit up? Up. That's tough. That's Discussion tough. board. Discussion. Oh, that's tough. Everything. That's tough. I run that's it up on everything, bro. That's tough. She got me like a, a 90 on a quiz, bro. Oh, it did? I might start doing it for discussions. I don't know yet. Yeah, uh, discussions run it up easily. Oh, just and just then I throw it in Quillbot to change up the, the, the words. Lingo. Yeah. yeah. Free. What is it called? Quillbot? Quillbot. Quillbot. Oh, that's not chat bad. Chat GBT, a- then Quillbot. Change that over. You, you just do it once or you do it twice? Once. That's not bad. That's it's not already, bad. It's really That's not bad. Yeah, it's but tough. I got another question for you, right? Yeah. So someone's offering you $25 million a year for the rest of your life. But the circumstances is that you have to fight Batman for 10 minutes. Once a year. Oh, no. Yeah. Once a, once a year? Yeah. You must fight Batman once a year randomly every every year for the rest of your life. See, here's the problem. And he's though. going hard. Here's the problem, though. I could fight that nigga December 31st and then fight him January 1st. Because it's random in the year. Yeah, you could. So I could... Uh, like, so I, you could get I your ass... Some, I got some time to heal. And then I get to the crib. And he's right there. And he's like, I need justice. Like, <laughs> yeah, beats, bro. And it just beats my ear. Yeah, I'm for, not, for $25 million a year. For, for 10 the, minutes I got to fight him? Yeah, 10 minutes. $20 million every year? $25 million a year for the rest of your life. I'll run it up. You'll run that up? Run it up. By a certain point, Batman's not beating my ass, bro. At what point you think that would be? Oh, she gonna break my bones. That's what I'm saying. He gonna like for ten yeah. minutes. That's a long yeah. ass time getting beat up, <laughs> get it by ass beat by Batman, bro. He be running. You gonna just keep he running from him? Put me in a chokehold. He don't play. Fuck. That nigga, if you run, he's still gonna catch your ass. I'm taking it. I'm taking 20, 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna try. I, I'm I feel like in shape, bro. I'm being shape. Bro. I feel like he gonna kill me though. When like if I get to like the older ages, he gonna kill me. Bro, I'm about to die, please. <laughs> Like while I'm like, like stop, might, stop hitting me, bro. You won. Like he gonna catch me lacking when I'm like, like, like fifty, and I'm like, damn. Oh, is I just stop life. when I'm good? Nah, it's for the rest of your life. So you just keep going. Yeah, yeah, I'm a die, I'm a die early for sure. You gonna die? I'm gonna have like thirty concussions. Nah, type shit, bro. Yeah, there's no way I survive that. Yeah, yeah, I do it though. For twenty five million, yeah. I think that's worth. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. just imagine you just you're having a great day, and then you just hear the swoop. I'm bring a gun. You just gonna bring a gun? Yeah, so <laughs> battering. Like just, you just get hit. Oh my god, man! You get hit with a battering to the head, bro. Oh god. damn, that's ass. Yeah, that's, that's ass of shit, bro. Yeah. Damn. Now I'm about to still take it though. Twenty five million a year. That'll, that'll, that'll keep me good. That'll keep me good. I'm taking it. All right, I got the last thing. Unless you want, you got anything you want to talk about? I got one more thing to talk um, about. Um. Nah. What's the last thing you got, bro? The last thing I got. I did this a couple pods ago. It's called. We're gonna do a ro- a battle royale, but with fictional characters. Yeah. 
So I have a list of characters <laughs> from one to eight. I rank them, and we're going to do like a March Madness type of thing. So one versus eight. So the first one, the first matchup is Darth Vader versus a Power Ranger. Pa- uh, not Power Ranger. Darth Vader. Darth <laughs> I was Vader about clears. to say. Darth yeah, Vader You know, clears. easy, easy, easy first round. Darth Vader clears. All right, Darth Vader. Eight. All right, so the from two, two versus seven, we have the Predator versus John Wick. Predator. Predator? Predator, Predator, Predator. Predator. Sweeping? Yeah, he. I'm not gonna lie. John Wick doesn't. He's a. He's really just a human with guns. Think so. At the end, of the Predator is the Predator. Is he gonna? Is he gonna keep up? Is he? You think he's gonna have a good fight? Four zero. Four zero. Ah, damn. Like like how the Nets went out. Close games, but four zero. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Top C's going stupid right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So next is three versus six. It's Sub Zero versus Mewtwo. That's a hard one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Corey says Mewtwo. By the way, I think I'm taking Sub Zero, bro. You gonna take Sub Zero in an upset, bro? No, like, Sub Zero is a thir- top seed. He's a third seed. I think I take because Mewtwo's kind of hard, bro. Mewtwo's like one of the strongest Pokemon, bro. Think about it. that nigga is like a Sub Zero game seven though. You seven think so? Game series. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's it's I think nah. Yo, think of Mewtwo is literally the god of Pokemon. That nigga is Run Mewtwo, bro. Mewtwo. Mewtwo? Mewtwo, Mewtwo. 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 All right, bet, bet, bet. The first upset of the day. Mewtwo gets it. Mewtwo gets it, bro. And Mewtwo, then bro. the last the last round, three ver- or four versus five. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Last round, four versus five. We got Ryu from Street Fighter or Optimus Prime. Ryu. <laughs> is it, I said, what I said? I said Ryu? Yeah. Damn, I'm tweet. <laughs> yeah. Ryu from Street Fighter and then who else? Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is the five seed. He's a five seed, yeah. Well, he got a free seeding. Um, <laughs> I'm taking Optimus. Prime. You gonna take Optimus? Yeah, I think yeah, I'm taking Optimus. And a four zero, four zero. I take Optimus. You think four zero though? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm taking Optimus Prime, bro. All right, all right. Optimus Prime ain't losing that. Bro. All right, bet, bet, bet. So now we got. So we got the. Let's see. Oh shit, that should change. So now we got the one seed versus. Hold on. One versus eight, two versus three, two versus one versus. I can't freaking. I can't read. Okay, so now it's Darth Vader versus Optimus Prime. Who's winning? Vader, bro. Vader. He is oh. one of the strong. I'm a Star Wars fiend. He is one of the strongest, if not strongest, Sith Lord ever in Star Wars. He. How you think he's gonna kill him? He has the power of the force. So what, he's just gonna like crumple him literally. He can any attacks he does, he can push back. Darth Vader has stopped like the laser beams from coming at him because he's so in touch with the force. Yeah. And then he has a lightsaber. He's oh, I'm gonna hit you with this giant metal sword <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then and then like feel me, yeah. I think he it's gonna be a close. I think it's gonna be six and six. Three. Yeah, sixteen. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Yeah. And now we got Predator versus Mewtwo, two versus six. Predator versus Mewtwo. Yeah, Predator versus Mewtwo. Mewtwo might win that, bro. Yo, low key, Mewtwo, Mewtwo might, might finesse, bro. Because Mewtwo Predator, almost lost to Sub Zero, but Mewtwo might win that. Because Predator is just like he just got the gadgets and he physical, just physical. Yeah, physical. Mewtwo can hit you from a distance. That nigga got. I don't even know what powers he got for. He got some mystic powers. Teleport. Got, all teleport. That. Yeah. So I don't think he's touching them. Mewtwo. Power of the galaxy. I'm taking Mewtwo. You taking Mewtwo? Mewtwo. Run that. So now it's the one seed versus the six seed. Darth Vader versus Mewtwo in the finals. Who's winning? Give me Vader. Bro. You gotta get Vader, bro. Give me Vader. Vader can't lose that, bro. You don't think so? Ah, uh, because think of, Vader can't teleport, bro. Mewtwo can tell. Let me look at Mewtwo's powers real quick. Mewtwo cannot teleport. Let me bro. tell you Mewtwo's powers real quick. Mewtwo powers. Vader. What the fuck? You got images? Take Vader, bro. Because Mewtwo. One. This just says pressure. That's hard. Pressure. Mewtwo is the most powerful of all psychic Pokemon, possessing many powers from telepathy, telekinesis, immense. Mewtwo. <laughs> so telekinesis run it. Like I said, he can see into the future. Psychic <laughs> blast, aura manipulation, and even manipulate the powers of other Pokemon. Nigga can manipulate Darth Vader's powers. It's deed. 
It's Deed for Vader. It's deed, deed for Vader. Damn, you two. Oh, yeah. upset. That nigga Super upset. upset, bro. Damn, we six believe seat. warriors and shit. <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo, run that. Mewtwo's up, bro. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah. You got anything else you want to talk about, my brother, so we can get to your game now? Nah, I'm about to go draw 30,000. Um, you feel me? Y'all go hear about it. Yeah, that's it. All right, tough. That's tough. After the season, I'm going to come back over here. After the, oh, after the... This the, is my. This is the season I've been training for. Everybody thought it was a rocker season? No, it's this season. So, so <laughs> right, over, under, over under stats, over under stats. Where are you, where are you going? Over twenty, nah. Over fifteen, over fifteen. <laughs> I don't know how these niggas gonna act. Me and you, bro. I, but these niggas might not. Yo, it's first game. It's first over game. 20. Oh, over good. twenty for Corey. I got over for twenty for Corey. Corey's gonna oot that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's that shit. But me, I got, I got over five assists though. I can over five assists. Over five assists. I'll count the stats in the in the shit. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll be. Assists and rebounds because they're not gonna count assists. They don't, they don't count assists. All right, bet, bet, bet. He's gonna be on it today. But thank you, but yeah. thank you again, my brother. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Great pods, great pods. Hell yeah. Uh, follow the socials down below if you haven't already. Everything on No Regulars, all that shit. New merch coming soon. <laughs> this nigga's a feed. Yeah. New merch coming soon. Um, if you, what, what do you want them to say if they made it all the way to the end, bro? If you made it to the end. What do you want them to say? They said that last time. I need y'all. If you made it to the end, I need you to put, say, acai. Spell it correctly. Spell it correctly. And if you don't like the video, your mother gonna die. Yo, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. yo, what? <laughs> yo, <laughs> nah, nah, it's not my bad. Next time, chill, chill, nah. chill. Oh, Nigga, I, that's about the pop. I don't got no spots for Celsius. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Chill, chill, chill. But we different than regular records, man. Gangsta.